Hey guys, I'm Cole Warner and I've got Transformers Prime R.I.D. Cup. So let's go ahead and get my size comparisons out of the way first. It's got Scourge over here. We got Film Noir Spider-Man over here. We've got Hubcap. We've got the Dead Autobot and we've got Barricade. And yes, while we're at it, we can go ahead and bring in animated... Hot Rod and like, eh, they seem a little out of scale from each other, but I still think the prime st the prime styling and the animated styling still work together pretty dang well. And uh, yeah, let's bring in the other cups too. Let's go ahead and bring in all the cups for the side-by-side -side on the cups. We've got Studio Series Cup here. We've got Titan Return Cup here. We've got... R.I.D. Cup, and we've got Classics Cup, and it's really interesting to see how they drastically changed along the way from the first version. Like you can kind of ignore the R.I.D. version, but like he he's all rounded off. He's again ignoring him, and these guys go really angular and stocky, and like they're all the same character, but just different interpretations on them. It's really interesting to see that. Prime R.I.D. Cup here is a repaint. This mold was originally used for Prime R.I.D. Ironhide, a, re a red truck actually, but it makes for a good cup figure also. Let's go ahead and get into it. So like he's got these big old blaster cannon things that can peg together. It doesn't matter which direction you peg them together. They're exactly the same actually, but Transformers Prime came out after the Ironhide mo uh, after the uh, Transformers movie, so Ironhide would have double arm guns, and so does Cup here. This Cup actually would kind of be a rough tumble, younger bruiser of a Cup, but uh, you know he's got like the football head going going on. He's got the bulky shoulder pads. He's got bull jointed shoulders, bull jointed elbows, no waist. That's because of the uh, transformation. He's got bull jointed hips. At the hip swivel, a nice knee bend, and he's got like ball jointed ankles in a weird way, so you can get some nice good posability out of this guy. Uh, we did the comparisons, yes, we did that, we did that. So let's go ahead and get into his transformation, shall we? So this trans, this thing right here, actually, um, I, 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 he has very little backpack. He carries his bulk very well. This part right here. Is not supposed to be like that. You see, it actually is meant to hang like that. But that looks really ugly. So you can just pop it off and redo it like that. But for transformation, we do need to return it to its original position. So let's go ahead and grab the front here, the grill, and lift that. Oh, it's getting caught underneath the shoulder there. Lift that up and then bring down the hood of the truck and clip that into place. Keep the shoulders pulled out. Pull the arms straight out, and we need to pull the legs down or push them up. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. We need to pull the back loose first. There is a hole here that goes onto a peg in the backpack there. Then, can I slide it down? Oh, is that something I missed? There's a transformation joint down there that I missed that I guess goes into locking out his waist better. I was not aware of that. Interesting, but that's not what I want right now. I want to push that in there. I'm trying to get... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so the head is not connected to the legs. The head is connected to the lower abdomen piece here, and we're gonna slide that down to get the head put away. You're gonna take the feet, and you're gonna take the foot and lower and put it straight down, and then as you bend the foot in, you're gonna take this whole back bumper with it. Oh, I'm doing this wrong again, aren't I? There we go, okay, so turn the foot inwards, then downwards, and then it can go in. I don't know 
Those are 5mm ports, and those could be used as siege ports if you were really so inclined. What else do we got going on here? Okay, so these arms need to come back like this. And there's these arm panels here that need to be opened up. Straighten the legs out. Peg them together. Open the arm panel. Bring the arms down to fill in the side panels here. Then we can take the whole roof of the car and bring it back. And there's these holes on the back of the uh, cab. They're going to go into these tabs in the back of the truck bed. And then what we got to do is close everything up up here. And then we can shove the grill back in place. And tuck things in. And there we have them in his vehicle mode. Oh, that was annoying. Oh, okay, so you're going to use those holes, yes, to peg the guns in on the back. And we have them in his vehicle mode. So, let's go ahead and get the other vehicle comparisons out of the way. We got Scourge. We got Hubcap. We've got the dead Autobot. We've got Barricade. We've got Film Noir Spider-Man. And uh, I know they probably don't go together, but here he is with Animated Hot Rod. And actually, you know, I know they don't go together, but like Animated and Prime, their styles kind of do match. So, again, this guy, he, he isn't wasn't originally intended to be Cup. He's actually a repaint of R.I.D. Ironhide. So, should you really get him... I mean, I think he's a fun figure on his own. He's very minimal undercarriage. He's got a good, nice, strong vehicle mode. He's got the brass up here. He's got the translucent windows. And, like, you can unplug these and put them in other spots on the vehicle. And remember, they combine. We covered that in the, uh, in the robot mode part. <sighs> if you already got Ironhide, I can't really recommend this guy. If you like a cool little green pickup truck thing... Then yes, he's really cool. And like he his transformation is so much different than the other cups. It's like they're not even the same figure. And they're not. They're not even the same character. But yeah. So it has been Colwyn talking about Transformers R.I.D. Cup. Ah.